Welcome everybody. Thank you for joining us today um, to another episode of Marley's Corner coming to you live from the Pod.com offices every Friday with amazing guests talking everything pets. My name is David Gimmis. I'm the founder and CEO here at Pod.com and of course as usual this is Marley here my dog my best buddy and our chief product tester and today we have uh, a really cool guest actually from my hometown in Toronto, Canada. Her name is Amanda and her French Bulldog, so a long lost relative maybe of Marley, uh, Tulum. Tulum is a French Bulldog. They're a, a, an Instagram influencer with amazing content. Their uh, Instagram is Tulum the Boho Bully. That's a mouthful, but check it out. They're, they're fantastic. They got some awesome content on there. So without further ado, we'll get uh, Amanda and Tulum joined up. And as usual, don't forget to ask a question in the comments below. Um, we are giving away a $50 gift card as usual. I did put the message in there, but I guess I forgot to pin it because it's uh, it seems to be all the way at the top. But if you're a regular watcher, you know we do this, so leave a question uh, for your chance to win. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? Honestly, Tulum told me this morning that he was super nervous about this. This is like his real appearance, so he's really nervous today. Hey, you can tell him that you don't have to be nervous. Marley will uh, hold your paw through this whole experience because... Hey, she's she's, uh, she's well experienced in this. Who's that? Who's that? <laughs> thank you for well, having me. Um, yeah, no, thanks for joining. Um, super excited to talk to you, especially because you are from Toronto. We don't get a lot of Canadians on. Um, <laughs> and I am from Canada. So when I, I, when I uh, heard that you were coming and joining, especially with another French Bulldog, I got super excited. But uh, Amanda, for those of our fans watching, um, could you please, you know, tell us a little bit about yourself and Tulum, how you guys came together? So, um, I haven't had a dog for about eight years, and I always said if I got another dog, uh, my first dog was a Chihuahua, and I loved him dearly, but I think it's, like, so important when you're getting a dog to you know, do the research on what breed is best for you and, you know, what dog works with your lifestyle. Um, I didn't get a Frenchie for the whole fad of Frenchies that's going on. I really got a French Bulldog because of just their attitudes, the way they're just, you know, your constant shadow, um, the neediness. I love it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like a lazy mentality, which apparently I have the laziest one, but <laughs> that why I chose a French Bulldog and it's kind of funny because my husband like did not want one he wanted a pit bull he wanted a big dog you know anything but a French Bulldog but um when we went to see him which we got him at the beginning of COVID pretty much we just had him and we just fell in love like he was just everything so yeah that's kind of how we got to Loom and it was just a very lonely time last year you know with COVID hitting and it was just a perfect fit to get a dog and i just i love him to pieces he's literally like how can you not love this oh baby? my goodness how cute <laughs> i'm telling you the french bulldogs they have a way of, of grabbing your heart this i know happened. same thing happened with marley um i still laugh about it um now because we were just supposed to go see her see her and then oh, we yeah. saw her. yeah and, and then, of course, it was game over from there. But um, what, it, Amanda, what's your, what's your favorite thing about being a pet parent? Is there one thing that you just, you can't get enough of? Honestly, it's, you know, it's funny. Like, before I got to Loom, I wasn't like, oh, I want kids or, you know, nothing like that. But having a dog really taught me patience and this, like, unconditional love feeling and just honestly a real sense of just love i i now think about like at my age maybe having a kid one day or something because he has taught me so much and even my husband like my husband can be you know short sometimes and really impatient and with him i i swear they have their own little language you know like daddy's home like it's hilarious <laughs> 
but you know i think the best thing about being a pet parent he's just taught me so much i i can't even really put it into words i actually thought a lot about this and he's literally taught me so much so it's really hard to put into words like what the best thing is for me but i just love yeah. everything that parent awesome awesome and the name it's so unique i don't think i've ever um met a dog named tulum um, I i'm i associate it with the place in mexico but i was wondering if maybe you had uh, an explanation how you guys landed on that name so just before COVID hit, me and my husband had a destination wedding in Tulum, Mexico. Yeah. And I get this a lot because Tulum is my favorite place on earth, but I feel like a lot of people actually haven't heard of it. So they're like, what a unique name. Um, but this is where we got married. And I just love the vibe of the town Tulum. I, have you been there? I have actually. Um, okay. My best memory of it is I went um, cave like exploring swimming through the caves oh yeah it's which, so cool. which was very cool kind of frightening but very cool <laughs> yeah it's a beautiful place it that's really what is. named him tulum like the whole vibe of tulum is it just kind of fit him because if you know you know tulum which if you follow our account and stuff you know that he's just the laziest laid back most chill like this is i mean i don't gotta give him a bully stick i don't gotta give him treats he will do anything he loves doing anything you know he's just so relaxed and chilled out that it reminded me of the vibe of tulum just everything slow pace and just you know lazy and boho and awesome yeah and i mean even though you say he's lazy if, if anyone watching has seen your instagram account there are some amazing poses and pictures <laughs> Yeah, do you mind just tap, like, keeping an eye out, out on that and just tapping it? Sorry, my phone is acting up. Um, so my question is, I try to do that with Marley, but she's not as chill. I mean, how do you get Tulum to pose so well? People ask me this. I swear this is the number one question that I get. Like, how do you get him to sit like that, stay like that? Um, in a lot of our reels, he's, you know, laying with his hands and his, like, his legs and arms up and in the grass. And they're like, how do you get him to stay like that? And the answer is absolutely nothing. Uh, that is how he is. And <laughs> All right, we got how we actually get our content because, look. Like, oh, who's that? See, as you're telling, talking about Tulum, how chilly he is, another dog just walked by in front of our office and Marley's losing her mind. Hold on, let's get the star back here. All right, okay, you said your piece, we're protected. Yeah, so, sorry about that. So Tulum just kind of does it naturally, hey? Yeah, I never use treats or anything. It's like he was born to be an Instagram sensation. I don't know how lucky um he just he's just like that and i never like had to, a lot of people ask me and i always say to them i don't think it's right or fair you know to do anything your dog doesn't want to do and that's just like my own personal opinion if he didn't do those things i would never you know force him into anything or you know try to coerce him to do anything and, and maybe treats here for a simple pose but you know he literally is like that so he's a natural I, yeah he's he's just a star Look at that. I love the outfit, too. I love the outfit. I, have, I don't know if I can do a quick little shout out. Um, sure. To support a Canadian company, but uh, the company is called Doggy Style. She makes um, a customizable sweaters for, like, pet owners and pets. I really wanted to shout her out because support Canada. But Awesome. She's got this cute little hoodie that says the Boho Bully, and in the back... <laughs> I love it. I love it. As Insta famous with his handle, and then you know I gotta get in on that too. <laughs> Look at that matching outfits. Yeah, so she's amazing. So this is how we uh, came up with our outfits today. Well, speaking of matching outfits, um, um, Marley and I put our leaf jerseys on last night. <laughs> it, it didn't seem to help, but we're gonna, you know, that's another. That's another conversation for a different day. But. I love that so much that you're Canadian. I had no idea. Yeah, yeah. Big, yeah, I grew born and raised in Toronto and, and just moved down here. Um, oh. 
about five years ago, but we, uh, we still have our, our Canadian roots. Um, so I know that um, Tulum has some siblings of another species, correct? He does. So How do they get along? I have two Siamese cats. Um, one is 10 and one is nine. And all of a sudden I brought home a French bulldog and they were like, are you kidding me? <laughs> <laughs> At first they weren't, I wouldn't say they weren't upset about it, but they weren't happy. You know, they were just a little bit shocked. They didn't really know what he was. I think they were like, you're like a weird looking cat, <laughs> you know? So they were really curious, but they are clan together. Those two. Um, so I, I wouldn't say he's like definitely in the pack, but they love him. You know, they'll, they will cuddle with him. They will, they'll play with him to an extent because he gets, you know, he's a dog. It's, it's a different kind of play, but yeah. Yeah, I'll get along like really, really well. But at first it was a transition period for sure. So he's working his way in. Good. Yeah. Good. Working his way in. Well, hey, Amanda, Tulum, we're so happy that you guys joined with us today and we got a chat and, uh, the Canadian connection. So um, <laughs> thank you, you guys. We really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having us. All right. Well, have yourselves a good day and a rest of your weekend and everybody watching. Thank you guys. And uh, tune in next week for another edition. Marley's very, very um, distracted today. So <laughs> she'll, she'll say bye, but um, we'll just have to do a wave here. Do -do -do. All right. All right, guys. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Bye-bye.